close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And as for anything else right now, just let it go. Let it go. You want to train the mind so that it obeys you. You tell it to stay, and it stays. You tell it to go, and it goes. Because the mind untrained is like having an untrained animal in the house. It can tear things up, it can create messes. And you're left with having to clean up after it. But if the mind is trained, then it can stop and think. Instead of just going for its urges, it decides, well, what would be for my long-term welfare and happiness? When the mind can think in these terms, then it can start thinking about being generous, being virtuous, meditating. Because even though these things are not, may not necessarily immediately be pleasant, but they're going to lead to pleasure in the long term, a good, solid pleasure in the long term. But if you can make the breath comfortable as you focus on it, that makes it a lot easier. And if you learn how to talk to yourself as you're being generous, as you're being virtuous about how good it is, that you're not causing yourself any trouble. You can find pleasure in doing these things, in the activity of doing them. So it's not just that the long-term results are good, but the activities themselves are good. You know, think about it. You're, you're doing something honorable. You're looking for happiness in a responsible way. A lot of people out there in the world are irresponsible in their happiness, but you're being responsible. And you're doing good things. Other people benefit, you benefit. This kind of happiness spreads its goodness around. It creates more harmony in the society. It's when people are looking for happiness in terms of wealth, status, praise, sensual pleasures. That's when society starts getting torn apart. Because if one side gains, the other side loses. But here with the practice of generosity, virtue, and meditation, everybody gains. When you think in those terms, your mind opens up, your heart opens up. It becomes a much more pleasant mind and pleasant heart to live in. So you find pleasure in the activity and you find pleasure in, in the long-term results. It's good all around. <laughs>